Okay, so we have the neck and head perfectly done and installed. It's all glued around. So we're going to wire up the bird and uh, install the body inside of it. <clears throat> so these are the cottons that I pushed inside the skin to absorb extra moisture. I like to pull them out before I forget. So what we're doing here, we are actually using the wire going through all the way to the tip of the wing because we had some shattered bones uh, in, in, the, in the wing area so we couldn't really go the regular way. As you can see I'm pushing the wire right to the tip of the wing and then laying it beside uh, the um, ulna and radius and bringing it into the shoulder wing. I was started shoulder bone. So I'm just gonna tape it up. And the other side was not in a good shape so we had to use some sticks and cotton and wire and glue to to make it look like at least like a, a good uh, good wing structure so we can continue with with flying pose. A little bit of a cotton batting here I'm using just to create a thicker bone. That's it, not necessarily for creating muscle. I just wrap wrap some around and with, with plastic wrap I just hold it together so it doesn't unravel on me. Yeah, you can see that there is no bone almost in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the wire as the main structure inside the wing by pushing the whole wire right all the way to the tip of the wing, to the last joint. There's a sweet spot that I don't know how to uh, mention where it is but once you once you find it without seeing just by feeling it under your thumb you can every time you can push the wire right through there I don't necessarily like this method because I like to push uh, push the wire into the drilled hole in the bone so the uh, as you can see, we don't have a lot of bones left on this wing. I use a piece of stick, measured it to the same length as the other wing bone, and I'm actually applying it right at the end of the ulna and attaching it with some string and, and uh, cotton batting and also some glue. Basically, I'm creating the structure. I'm using some fine floral wire right now to wire up the wing wire to the bone. Make sure that it doesn't move on me too much. And the pre-measured stick, I'm lining it uh, uh, like beside the wing wire and I'm using the rest of the floor wire wire to just hold it up but that's not how it's going to be finished and we're gonna do some more double checking the measurement again so they're both matching Okay, electrical tape right at the end of a roll too. Gotta use a new one.
So I'm gonna use a little bit more of cotton batting strip here because uh, that stick is not as thick as the bone on the other wing, on the other side. So I'm gonna wrap a little more and use my uh, plastic tape on it so it just holds it pretty good. Oh, also what I'm doing here, I'm using string right at the joint and then making it going all the way up and down again and just I'm trying to do more to make sure that um, that joint is not going to be moving and spinning on me because really that stick is just sitting there and giving me the wing measurement wing length is not um, secured by basically cartilages that's why I'm using the crazy glue in that joint area so I can glue everything and uh, prevent them from spinning on me or at least make reduce it to a to a large amount then we put our plastic tape around it again to uh, finish off the whole wing Now the wings seem to be in fairly solid shape. Measuring them up again. Yeah, that one's still a little bit longer, I guess. get to cut it out yeah it is very important to have the um, stick in exact size of the other side because then you're gonna run into some problem when you're mounting it so the wings are different so anyway, it seemed to be working uh, for now and then we're going to move on to wiring up the legs. So the wire is just going to go from behind the heel and goes right underneath the skin and stops behind, uh, stops before we push it out of the feet because the bird is going to be in flight position. So the wire don't need to stick out. Again here, what I'm doing, I'm trying to create a little bit of a um, traction before I wrap up my drumstick with Excelsior, with wet Excelsior. And the reason I'm using Excelsior is that um, I can shape it because um, it's a flying bird and uh, I can I can see that the shape the, the proper shape of the leg is going to be useful right now and I get two basically pieces of um, um, Excelsior all wrapped up in in a flat uh, shape so I can I can shape it to because drumsticks are not round they're flat and they have a teardrop shape. So with applying one piece of Excelsior to the front of the bone and one to the back of the bone, then you can create the proper shape of that drumstick for yourself. I believe I only um, I only did it on one leg for the video because the other leg we just repeat the same process okay now everything is wired up we're going to push the wires into the body and install the body in inside the skin so of course it starts with the neck wire 
comes out of the other end and get pushed back into the body. The wing attachment spots are already marked so we know exactly where we're going to put them so it's not a guess. So both wings are going to be attached to the body on the symmetric spots. Okay, we have measured and marked the, um, the thigh bone size, so we leave that and then we basically bend the rest of the wire and push it back into the body. So as I said, this stuff is not guesswork, it's already measured. I never like to guess as much as I can, I like to measure things, I never trust my memory. Okay, now we got the uh, body pretty much installed. We move the leg quite a bit out of its shape to free up the skin so we can pull the skin all around the body and then we'll bring the legs back to where they belong to. This would not be possible if you don't leave your thigh bone um, basically wiring in there. If you stick the drumstick right into the body, it's not right. It can work in some birds, you know, in, in turkeys it has, it has worked, but, uh, but not majority of time you have to leave that. So now we got a U wire, a fine wire, going through underneath the tail coverts and right beside both end knobs of the, the tail feather quills and push it into the body. That would be a uh, support for tail feathers. And then of course we're going to uh, inject some caulking from outside to create a great bond, but that wire is uh, is important to stop it from flopping around while you're working on it Okay, now we're gonna go through a turbo speed sewing job and then This is also the end of this segment of video. We will see you guys in part three Thank you very much for watching